And then a breakfast contract, please. Uh, bacon. Can you on that? Uh, yes, please. How's that food, bro? And you don't want anything? I'm alright. And that'll be all. Cool. Thank you. Not sponsored. Ooh, Frappuccino. Look at that, bro. There's a lot of cool cars over there. Let's go look at them. Mhm. Mm yeah. Damn, look at that car. E420. Oh, I think that's 190 right there. Look. Yeah, that's what I, I would love to do it. I don't know what, what it needs. You should talk to the guy. This is Man, place. it's a green color too. Oh, wow. He has a W210 as well. This is his place. You should talk yeah. to There's a lot of them, huh? The van? Yeah, this is my fucking ship box. Oh, wow. look at it. Oh, 328. yes. Oh, yes. Anyways. Nice. That is cool. Yeah, I've crashed it in the, it in the front. Mm. Oh, it's another 190. Oh, bro, look, it's a Sportland. Oh, wow. Look at the interior. That's crazy. Look at those nice seats. Yeah, yeah buddy. Holy cow. It's got, like, AMG back I got, there. like, uh, hit a little bit, huh? In the back. Yeah, I gotta. We're gonna fix it pretty soon. I, I crashed. That's a sweet I car. crashed that car into this. I fucked it up. So ah. I got. Yeah. Is this your car too, or that's your? Uh, dad's? That's my dad's car. Yeah, I gotta pay for it. And then this is the. Ah. This one's manual. Oh. Manual. Can I look at it? Get, get right. Look at those uh, tail lights from the old S class. This is it for sale. This car. Really. Yeah. It How like much do you want for this one? He is, he is. I have no idea. It just needs a lot of work, though. I have no idea what he wants for it. Yeah, this one is... I mean, it probably doesn't want, like, too much, but, I mean, I know the transmission is worth a bit. Yeah. Is it stick? Let me see. I've it's never a really... stick. It's a stick. Holy, Holy pretty, pretty rare. <laughs> yeah. And this is the uh, 420, man. This yeah. Missing headlights, man. This thing, he probably, stuff, he's probably saying this whole car for 300 bucks, bro. He can sell it for 300 bucks. This whole car, bro. Probably. Really? I mean, I don't know. He, can uh, you open the hood, bro? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, actually, you might have to. He, he, just, he just had it open. Wait, 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 wait. I think it needs to be popped. Yeah, the grill. Over there? 
Oh, yeah, those grills. What fender is that from the 190? Maybe, yeah. Is it black? And I'm also looking for some fenders for my car. Oh, nice. Because I'll oh, be repainting uh, my car. Hmm. What about those grills right there? 190 for sure. Can I buy them? Yeah, for sure. I'm actually, I actually need a grill for one of my cars. I don't know how much you'd sell it for a price one of That's so cool. Nice. That's M102 or... Oh, no, that's... What? That's M103? You must be kidding me. No and, way. And there's, and there's two, 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 two replacement cams sitting in the trunk. No, we just, we that's just crazy. That's yeah, crazy. Honestly, it looks pretty good. You know what's crazy? Because I have a red one, a red 190E, and um i still have a lot of plans for that car one of them is obviously painting the car because it needs a paint job but uh, it has the same engine but i've I'm, i really want to put a manual in that car too the things that we discovered too is that the the, the cam mm -hmm. up here in front has mm -hmm. a different number and the one in the back has a different number all the others are the same number so the you you have you said you have two extra camshafts in the trunk correct and, uh, correct we they're not really the same, right? They're not yeah, the yeah they, they, yes, they're the right cams. Oh, okay, okay. We they just, just need to be installed, right? Yes, we just never got around to doing mm, it. I see. Uh, uh, winters and time. Right, yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, got, yeah. <laughs> got us. A lot of rain during the winter time, too. <laughs> that's pretty cool, though. Wow. Yeah, no, pretty, I've never really looked at it too much. It's not my car. Yeah. So the cam shot is just basically because it's scored, right? That's why it needs to be replaced. Yeah, it looks like pretty common you know why because um you have to use really thick oil for these cars right. you have to use like uh either 10w30 or 15w40 yeah, I, I, I use 2050 yeah that's Most, good when i was using british cars and and, and alpha romeo's nice. i always use 20 nice 50. Oh. Racing, oh. racing what they used to call racing oil yeah that's pretty cool wow thank you for showing that's really awesome and i really like this one too mainly because yeah <laughs> for sure for your other yeah that's really cool for, uh, just for kicks. yeah they're they're amazing it engines me of my v8 c43 i had a c43 amg yeah Woo. you know what it reminded me of was the last time i was in a vet yeah the acceleration on a corvette that's <laughs> super cool let's see but it's, it's a parts car now so yeah pretty much Maybe uh, we can bring it back on the road, you know? No. It just needs a transmission, you said? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well, that's, that's normal, you know? These cars are like 30, 40 years old now, so they need some love, you know? But yeah, it would be pretty awesome to actually, I mean, you know, bring this car back to life. Love. This one needs like a yeah. lot of love, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it needs a mirror miles oh, all nice. right when'd you buy it um uh, probably like i don't know like three months ago three months ago yeah um i put beamer coil oh you did that front. right yeah interesting and i've yeah, never seen that driving. setup before that's interesting yeah right i seen some guys on youtube do it but they didn't use the camber plates that i use uh-huh and so, yeah. <laughs> this nut is like <laughs> barely on there, like 20%. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's on there pretty solid. Uh, I got the camera adjusted a little bit slightly. Yeah. But yeah, no, the car runs super good. Interesting. It's cool. It's been super yeah. solid. What's up? I work on them a little bit. I'm more of a Beamer guy, so I'm trying to, I've got a Beamer like tucked off in there. I saw you have a lot of cool projects over there and stuff like that. I was really wondering about that E420 that you have too. I really like that thing. Yeah, my dad, he's, uh, he's had that car for like, a long time five or six years now nice nice yeah. not too much though because she's a daily driver for sure just as is like, you won't have to do anything for a while is it normal to have people different sizes are they different sizes yeah
they're adjustable yeah. too, so you can make the right height go up or down. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. How do you do that? So look, loosen this or what? Look, on the shock, on the shock is a spring, right? And at the bottom of the spring, there's two green things, and you just Oh, twist gotcha. Them. It's like yeah. a ball cut. You said it's uh, from a BMW E36? Yeah. Nice. That's, that's, because uh, I bought the uh, suspension from my E36 in the back there. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Nice, nice. I got a E36 too. that we just got I saved this car and it's going to a good home you're gonna take care of it right you're gonna love this baby you're gonna clean it up really nice once we get home and everything yeah immediately she's gonna be great nice and it's even it even has the owner's manuals right there and everything super cool you got directions back home or back to your friend yeah we're gonna just take it back right there All right, guys, so we just uh, bought this car. This is gonna be actually my friend's car. This is a, actually, you know, it's not that bad. You know, it needs a lot of work. Not too much, but it needs some work. But it's a, actually a super clean car. It's a 1992 Mercedes 190E. So it already has a different steering wheel and everything. And, uh, you know, this car had some mods done to it. It has a loud exhaust, which I really don't like. And we're probably gonna just change that. You know, it has the antenna uh, that is also uh, going to be installed and things like that. You know, it has a, a hitch right there that somebody added, which I really don't know if we're going to keep that. Probably not. We'll see. But uh, other than that, I mean, uh, it's a pretty nice car. That We have to figure out the, um, the situation with a misfire because it has a misfire and things like that. And it also needs a lot of interior cleanup. It has uh, The interior is actually pretty dirty on this thing. And uh, yeah, we'll have to take care of that. Other than that, uh, also the sunroof doesn't work, but uh, this car is gonna be in good hands right now. It's saved, it's pretty amazing. Oh no, the bus. Give him a thumbs up. Oh, that's an old lady, I think. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's crazy, huh? Yeah, it's been 20, 25. Yeah, there, there's no need for a rush. See that? That's cool. We just found some cassettes, old school cassettes from this thing. Do you think it'll play? 
Uh, not on, with this rating, because this is aftermarket radio right here. Yeah. If there was a factory, it, should, it probably would be working. That's so cool. Yeah. I'm pretty sure these... We can probably find the factory radio for this thing. Yeah, there's a lot of trash here. It needs to be cleaned up. So we just got to Rain's place. Right now, we're going to do some work on this car. I want to fix the misfire, and we have this... Uh, Bosch wiper blade that actually came with the car, so we're gonna install it. There she is. So as far as the misfire uh, goes, this spark plug wire was literally just loose. It was not like connected or clicked in, and I think it's just broken, so it doesn't click in. That's probably why it was misfiring. But these ones are really tight though, so we're gonna try, we're gonna start this engine and see. And there's another one, same thing with this one. It's not clicked on. And it looks really ugly and yeah, weird. These still look ugly too. Yeah. So we're definitely gonna be probably replacing these things, because these spark plug wires are also different. Like these were, there's, these are some blue ones and these are black. Super weird. That two over there is fine. Those two? Uh, nope. Oh, no. Look at that, they're just all loose. That's crazy. No wonder this car has no power and it's misfiring. What does it say? I'm not sure. Because I have a cover. Yeah, I really love the exhaust on this car. Oh. What a beauty! Rain, say cheese. You look good. Cheese. Yay! <laughs> That's how nice this car is. Ooh. Look at this thing. She's a beauty. Ooh. It's nice that this thing came with a new wiper. It would be even more nicer to install it. <laughs> All right. Nice thing nice with Bosch. Hopefully, it's the right one. Oh, look at that. I'm going to try to take this one off. Okay. Come this way. Actually, I will lower the hood a little. First brand new part on this car. Let's see. I should have closed the I did mine. Bit. I did a tune up on mine. There you go, brand new, look at that. Woohoo! Probably test it out. Where's your key? I need the key. <laughs> I gave it to you. So you can open it? the trunk. It's in the trunk. Oh, it's in the trunk. You're right, it's in the trunk. Well, I hope you're not trying to be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> so now I get the job done. <laughs> yeah. Stealth is zero. <laughs> is a lot happier now. See the smile on this car? She's smiling. Well guys, so here's the progress. So, um, did some investigation and uh, turns out that these spark plug wires are bad. They're just loose in there. Mm, about four of them. Two of these are fine, but the guys went to the store right now to pick up some new spark plug wires. So we were gonna install those and see how this engine 
runs after that. Hopefully the misfire is gone. In the meantime, we're taking care of some other cars, lubricating door latches, things like that, you know, uh, saving these amazing cars. Um, but yeah, today uh, my buddy got this 1992 190E. Uh, you know, it's not in the best shape, but uh, it's gonna get there, and it's actually pretty clean. The paint job is really good on it as well, and things like that. You just need to wash it and, you know, clean everything uh, inside. Other than that, it's a pretty sweet car. Really nice. And it's a 2.6 M103, so... Always doing something, always working on a uh, different project, and you know, that's what we do. But, it's pretty awesome looking at all these sweet cars. So I just put a bunch of ATF inside this door lock mechanism and it's actually really easy and nice to open this door. Like if I show you right here, if I stand, it used to be like so much harder to open this door. But right now it's a lot easier and I just literally put a lot of uh, uh, ATF in there and I also like move I kept moving this thing back and forth so it's pretty awesome you gotta move it back and forth while you're holding the door handle and just kind of move it back and forth put some more ATF and then she's good she's really nice you can close it up get out of there alright so we got a brand new spark plug wires they're gonna be taking these out doing one by one Right now, and then one of the shorter, the shortest one. Okay. Hopefully, one? they gave you the right set. Yeah, I hope so. There you go. So this you have oh, to I'm hold on. Sorry, hold on. we don't have the bottled water. Here, no, 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 you're fine. Thank you. Oh wow! Thank you. Woo! What is that? Rain. That's your name. That's me. Yay! <laughs> So you kind of have to uh, wiggle it sometimes. There you go. So this, we just installed the wiper uh, blade, a brand new one, but this assembly is like stuck right now. So I want to go ahead and put PV Blaster, let it soak. Uh, why did you guys not start with cylinder number one? That's called math works, right? So under one first, and then you go two, three, four, five, six, six. Because I want two to be the first loser, you know? Oh, okay, I see. <laughs> as long as it all works out, it's good. So you want to try to loop it around this because the cover is going to go right here. That's okay. Are you sure that's the right size or the right length? Is it fitting in there? There's a big rubber gasket there that should. That's how bad this work this is worn out. I think we found our culprit? Yeah, one of them. Pretty dirty and this thing is like also loose i don't know if it's supposed to it's cracked right there see that crack let's see what we have had we replaced the spark plug wires but uh also there's a, an issue with the cap and rotor and cap is just worn out Literally, and there's some spots on it that are just literally burned through. So I'm gonna replace it with a new one. Luckily, the stores had it. And then the same thing with the rotor. I'm gonna replace it. And there's that camshaft seal in the front that's leaking. So uh, kind of sucks. It will have to be done sometime in the future for sure. All right. So here's a brand new rotor, a cap. I mean, and if we compare it to this. That's a big difference. That one's worn out completely. Cool stuff. And we have a new rotor as well. Rotor is brand new. And then so we just have to remove this one, replace it with a new one.
All right, guys, it's about 11 p.m. at night, and we just reinstalled everything back here. We've got a brand new um, distributor cap and rotor, uh, new spark plug wires, and he's going to start her up just in a little bit. We'll see how she runs because previously two cylinders out of six were not firing. So right now we're going to see how she runs. Hey, there's a trash can there. And before you start it, let me just double check something really quick. I bring your uh, light over here. Just gonna make sure that nothing got stuck anywhere and that she's good. Now, this belt needs to be replaced, but I uh, just wanna make sure I don't leave anything in there. Alright, so just start it up uh, and then if anything, we'll tell you. Is that okay? Okay, yeah, just start it up. Runs great. Yeah, I hear. No it. more misfire. No more misfire. No more misfire, man. Hell yeah. It's crazy like that. Yeah. You're a lucky guy tonight. Sounds uh, yeah. Good. New it owner. Really good. All right, let's clean it up and let's get going. All right, there she is. She's all good to go. Check the oil level. About to go and drive her home. Everything is done. Uh, dogs are saying hi, uh, and then. We're gonna go ahead and make sure she's good, but it started, everything is great, no issues, so I'm gonna drive her home, fix the misfire on this thing. She's amazing. We'll just have to change the muffler on it. Well, it's almost midnight, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We actually saved this amazing Mercedes 190E, and thank you to Rain, and also this is a new owner of that Mercedes 190E. We're gonna be, he's gonna be part of the family. So, it's awesome, we can't wait to see uh, these guys again and rain you're awesome thank you for all the parts and everything yeah, like no always so yeah family we are we stay together save classic mercedes yeah. all right. well we're driving home try to keep it uh, quiet now because there's neighbors here but once we get on the street you can test it out better but yeah he knows he knows okay so you're saying it feels really good, huh? Yeah, dude, I'm really pissed on the gas. Yeah, all six cylinders are working, finally. Hell yeah. Amazing. Take a left. Left, yeah. Such a different yeah. car now. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Nice. Woohoo. Welcome to the family, brother.